Hello there Eagles, it is I, Mr. Sorensen, coming to you with some members of Mrs. Passy's fifth grade class and they're doing a little presentation for us on Amelia's trip to Antarctica, but I wanted to explain first why she is in Antarctica. Antarctica was always going to be one of the most difficult stops on her tour and we had a small window in the weather and everything aligned and we had an opportunity to get her down to Antarctica. So we dropped everything, got her down there and that's why it's a little bit out of order. So she went from Iceland all the way to Antarctica and then she's going to go up to uh, England and so it's it's a bit of a detour but I wanted to explain why it is that she's going out of order when you get a chance to get into Antarctica you take that chance and we had a wonderful scientist who was doing some research down there who cooperated with us and made that happen for us so big thanks to him enjoy Antarctica is the least populated continent there are no permanent residents the population vars from 1,000 to 4,000 people depending on the time of year. These people are visitors and scientists. Amelia visited scientists doing research on Antarctica. It was very helpful. Amelia was atop of a peak overlooking the frozen lake Frixel in, Taylor, in Taylorville Valley. The, the lake stays frozen all year long with ice around 10 feet thick. The things around Amelia are all I bring to sample soil the bag is filled with soils that, sh that should contain tiny life forms. These include organisms with strange names like ne nematodes, tardigrades, and rotifers. Amelia is in a valley called Garward Valley where the scientists sample soils at different elevations, low, middle, and high. In the background is the helicopter we use to get to these remote areas. She is sitting on a PVC pipe that contains a sensor recording soil temperature data throughout the year. The ground can get as cold as negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter months. This observation tube looks like a window in a submarine from under five meters of sea ice. Amelia could hear the sounds of seals communicating with each other while looking for a fresh catch in the McMurdo sound. Once we are done collecting the samples in the field, Amelia comes back to the lab to look at the tiny organisms under the microscope. The things that live in the soil, like a speck of dust, to the naked eye, so we need a powerful microscope to see them in detail. 